Today I'm going uh, to show you how to push your local repository to GitHub. So let's start right now. And here is my project that I am tracking with GitHub. And you can check that if you say git status. Just kidding, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have an error parser. I'm going to create new repository with git in it. And then I'm going to go inside my browser and go in GitHub. Then I assume you're logged in and I am here. As you can see, if you have this picture, you're logged in. And to create a new repository, you click on this plus icon and say new repository. And mine is black. I think of this, um, my website is black because of this extension. I think if it's not, uh, if yours is not black, just so you know. Let's just say test uh, repo. We don't want any description. We, don't, we want it to be public. We don't want to read me and just say create repository. And then with this new repository, you want to copy uh, this link by clicking here and then going inside my project again. And to check if this project or local repository has uh, is connected to any sort of uh, GitHub repository, you just type in git remote v to list all of the git remote repository that this local repository is connected to. And if you don't get anything, that means that your local repository is not connected to any GitHub uh, remote repository. And to add a remote repository, what you do is just say git uh, remote add and then the name of your um, repository which is usually going to be origin and then you paste the link that you've copied and as you can see it's the correct link because it says test repo which is the name of our repository and then if i press just enter and again let me just clear up the console and then if i say git remote dash v to list all of the remote repositories you'll see I get this test repo. So I'm fetching from this repository and also I'm going to push to this repository. And now, based, and that's basically it. If you want to, let's just say, get status now, and I haven't submitted anything, so I will add all of my files in the staging area by doing git add dot, which means add all of the files. And after that's done, I can commit those files and whoops just i'm going to show you now uh, and you commit them by saying git commit dash am which stands for whoops actually git commit m only which stands for message and i'm going to say first commit and then if i press enter and say git log one line that's gonna uh just give the history of all of my commits and i have only one and now i can push my local repository or this first commit to my uh, remote repository by saying just git push origin master and i'm saying origin because that's the name of my repository if you remember that's the name we created and the master is the branch of our remote repository. And now if I go inside my remote repository, see there, there was nothing before here. When I created the repository, of course it was empty. And now if I refresh, boom, I'm going to see my project. And that took us only, whoops, not two minutes exactly, but four minutes. Still, still not that, that much time. 